Hello, this is Seth from Northland Dodge in Prince George, and today we're taking a look at a 2016 Jeep Cherokee Sport. Under the hood, we have a 2.4 i4 multi air engine and a 9 speed automatic transmission. Let's take a look around. This guy does come in the metallic silver color and it stands out very nicely. As well, it does have the chrome accented grille right up front, as well as the Jeep logo there. It does also come with bi function halogen projector headlights right there, and they look great. Now it does also come on 17 inch rims with Goodyear tires and there's still a ton of tread left on those guys right there. Rims stand out very nicely. As well it does have uh, heated exterior mirrors and they are in the flat black so they stand really nicely against the rest of the vehicle. Okay coming around the back here we do have the Jeep logo there, the 4x4 logo there and the Sport logo right there. Right under here as long as it's unlocked you can just press the button and you can open it right up. Now you do have a ton of room back here, lots and lots of room, a little bit of additional storage right down there as well. You can open up this guy here and you got a bit more storage right here. Lots of room in there and underneath there is your uh, spare tire. You can also push these guys forward and then you have even more room uh, to haul whatever you might need to. You also got a little charger right down there. Okay, let's jump on in here. So we got our keys, we got two presses to unlock. One press to lock and two presses of this guy to activate your remote start. Isn't that nice? That does help a lot in the winter, keeps you nice and warm. You do also have your panic button right there. But let's unlock it and let's jump on in. So on the immediate door here we do have power windows, power locks and power windows all right there. As well as you got the chrome accented handle there. Bit of storage here, bit more right down there. These guys right here do control how high the seat is, so you just can lift it up or push it down, and this one does tilt it back. You got your lights right here, you got your off, you got your daytime running lights as well as your low beams, and then this is the control over your in-cabin lights. You got your turning signal and your high beam control right there. Okay, we got our keys here, so let's start her up. Keys in the ignition, and we're good to go. Now in the center here you do have your speedometer and your odometer, as well as your uh, gas gauge and your oil temperature. Now you do have your speedometer in the middle as well as what gear we're in and the temperature outside in the time. But you can change that to your screen setup, your stored messages, you got your audio, what we're listening to right now. You got your trip info, your fuel economy, vehicle info, and then back to your speedometer. And in your fuel uh, vehicle info you can change it through all sorts of different stuff. Now that is all controlled from right here, right from your steering wheel, so you never have to take your hands off the steering wheel. You got your call out button, your voice recognition, and your hang up button. You have your horn in the middle of course, and your cruise control options on the other side. Now on the back here you do have these buttons and that is for your volume up and down and the uh, button in the middle does change the source. On the other side you got an identical one for uh, the channel. Now this guy here does control your windshield wipers as well as your wind uh, rear windshield wiper, always handy. Over here you have a 5 inch touchscreen display and you have uh, your radio so you got your AM and your FM. Plus you do have your media options so you do uh, have a USB or aux cord you can plug them into or you do have Bluetooth as well you can hook up a phone through it. You got your compass over here as well as your climate controls here and then you got your more button right there that is your clock and your temperature outside. Right here is your button for your hazard lights and then down here are your uh, different controls so you have your volume up and down as well as your mute. You got your screen off option, you have your uh, traction control there, your back button. Uh, your heat down and up as well as your tuner over there. You got your power for the uh, climate up and down Your AC there your circulation your front and rear defrost. This guy's really cool So it's a uh, different dial so it can help you drive in these different situations So auto will figure out what the best is for what you're driving in right now Snow is best for snow sport gives you a little bit more of a kick and sand and mud is uh, for more of those type of things it's a little bit slipperier You got your SD card slot down there your USB and your aux cord as well as a 12 volt plug-in you do have your uh, gear shift here, so you can always just pull that down or up. Super easy to do. Got your parking brake here. It is an electronic parking brake, so all you got to do is pull it back. Now it is engaged, or push it down to uh, disengage it. Super easy to do. You also have your cup holders there. And then right over here is your armrest, and uh, it does open it up. And you do have a little bit of storage there, as well as there is a second layer. And you can open up that guy and there's a little bit more down there, plus a USB plug-in and another 12 volt plug-in right there. Over here you do have a locking glove box which is really nice, so you can lock it with your key and then no one can get into it. You have your owner's manual in there and there's actually a lot of room in there as well. Up here you do have your lights right there, 
and your sunglass holder right there. Let's jump on in the back here and take a look. On the door here, you do have control over your own windows, of course. Plus, you have another chrome accent to handle and a bit more storage down here. Now, you do have a lot of leg room back here as well, and the seats are very comfortable. They are the cloth, and they stand out really nicely as well. If you didn't need all five people in here, you can pull this down, and you got some cup holders and an armrest right there. Super nice if you uh, only have four people in here. And that guy is your 2.4 multi-air engine, and it looks really nice in there. Well, that does it for my walk around video of the 2016 Jeep Cherokee Sport. If you guys want to come and take a closer look for yourself or take it for a test drive, come on down to Northland Dodge and talk to one of our sales specialists. Thanks for watching.